So first, you need to make sure that you have an internet connection via Ethernet for your Porcupine, Google Chrome on your PC, and an Android or Apple device with access to Google Play or the App Store. First thing you're going to do is to create an account on wapsto.com using Google Chrome on your PC. You could either sign in with Google or you could register with your email address. And then you should receive a welcome email which you will need to confirm. Next, you'll want to install the Seluxit Deviceless app from the App Store or from Google Play Store. Start it and log in using the newly created account. Here I'm just using an emulator on my computer, but you'll get the idea. In the Seluxit Device List app, then press the button in the upper right hand corner and add Porcupine to your account by scanning the QR code. Once you've added your Porcupine to your Wapsto account, put the Seluxit Universal Connector hat on the Porcupine, connect the Porcupine to the internet via Ethernet, connect the Porcupine to power, and once the LED indicator is solid green and the orange LED is off, you could start using the rapid prototyping tools. In Google Chrome on your PC, log into Wapso.com and select Store in the left-hand navigation. Now install the IoT Rapid Prototyping WAP and press Open Last Installed. If you'd like to know what a WAP is, basically WAPs are web apps that have been created in Wapsto. And now you're going to add a new template and choose LED plus button. And at the top of the page, click the blue pencil icon to give your template a name, for example, Porcupine Demo. Follow the on-screen instructions and add your LED plus button, making sure to disconnect the power from your Porcupine before adding the physical actuator. You'll save and deploy, choosing Select Existing Hardware and Continue, and then you'll recognize the UUID of your Porcupine. Select and click Next. The version name is mostly relevant when having made adjustments. For your purposes, you could just type in V1. And now click on Deploy. You'll notice the orange blinking light during deployment. Make sure to wait until the LED is not lit and the green indicator is blinking before proceeding. On your Android or Apple device, go back to the Seluxa Device List app and notice that your Porcupine, named Porcupine Demo, is visible, both as a live deployment and as a shadow version indicated with the qualifier prototype and displayed with a gray color. In the app on the live deployment version, try altering the desired state of the LED on-off value and notice how the light changes on the physical device. Try to click the button and notice how the button's current state changes. Back in your browser, try to add other sensors and actuators, buzzer, relay, barometer, and CO2 sensor. Do it in the same manner, just follow the on-screen instructions. Note that you should scroll down to see which slot the sensors and actuators should be added to for each type. So once you get your Porcupine up and running with your sensors and actuators, there are several WAPs that you could use now. Seluxit's dashboard allows you to create tables and graphs from your data assets. You can export your data using the historical data WAP. And you could choose which firmware should run on which devices using the firmware update WAP. You can create your own WAP using WAP Creator, where you'll find Hello World WAPs to get you started.